Hello, um, here I am again, and um, we've moved on a little bit since we uh, since we last talked. Well, I talked, and um, as you can see now, really, this has come on quite a way. You can start to see the way it's coming out, the shape. You can get a feel for where it's going and its flow. The thing is with this, it's it's the old thing when you think something's finished, it's sort of probably halfway through. So I've really got to spend more time on this now. I've just got to work at it. It's all the little bits and pieces and tweaking. There's a few pieces around the edge I've got to change, a few little shapes to, I've got to sort of bend in and wear in. So the whole thing looks a little bit worn and it unifies it all and ties it all together. What you've got now, as you can see, you can start to see, uh, is a little bowl here. It's probably not very easy from there really, but you've got a, a depression here, which is where the vortex part will go. And there's a line here that I'm gonna take all the way to the bottom. And that helps the water spin a little bit quicker at the bottom. And in theory, you get a really nice vortexy thing going on. Um, water will go around this and around there, so it'll just find its way around. I might take a little bit more stone out of there yet, I'm not sure. Uh, and the same here, this is where the water's coming up. And you can see now, I was describing it before, there's a little depression there, not much. Uh, and around it goes, and it fills this. Hopefully it'll fill it to just there, probably about five mil below, providing we get this thing nice and level. That's the most important thing. Uh, around it goes. Um, and in theory, it should just keep circulating around. Uh, and then what we've got number two now, really, which I'm sort of... They do need to be tied together. They need to be, it's not so much a matching pair, but they need to feel that they've got something unifying, which is partly these two, um, two round circles here, which will be like that. And, um, and what I'm gonna do is take the, this area around the edge of this down. So this is actually gonna stand up in relief. There's a taken area, there's an area like this in the middle that'll uh, carry the water. The same thing again, you've got a vortex at one end and you've got an area where the water comes up. Uh, and then really this, this area around here, as you can see, all the way around, it's going to be a little bit like this because I think that contrast, I think the lovely flat area and the chiselled worked area looks so lovely, it's a nice contrast. So that's what I'm going to try and catch on here and then what you've got really, it'll just draw the two together uh, but they'll all have their own, they'll have their own unique way of working. I'm going to leave this quite rough as a contrast, I think it's important to have texture uh, and again just work the edges, make sure that everything ties together and everything looks like it's all being made at the same time. Look, it's almost, I want to try and create something that looks worn away, a bit like me, first thing in the morning. Actually all day as well, in all honesty. So, um, if you're wondering where this is being filmed from, by the way, I've got a Duncan the Mountain Goats climbed halfway up the side of the quarry. So, uh, if this is the last film you ever see, it's probably because Duncan's fallen off. Or he's lost the will to live listening to me talking and he's jumped off, so either way. Anyway. Oh, there we are, folks. <laughs>